Hi everyone, today we are going to present our company uh, expansion project. As our solar tissue is a very successful in France, we had the opportunity to study a possible extension to a foreign country. The purpose of this presentation is to give recommendation to a company uh, of a city where we could possibly extend. After um, researching, collecting and analyzing data, we come up with the conclusion that Shanghai is the perfect city. Here we are going to present why. So, let me introduce you the plan. We are going to start with the cultural part, where we will be interesting the different culture of Shanghai in China and how a product fit perfectly to the, to the Chinese market. Then we will see the, the different policies and legal issues that uh, our, our company should be aware of. And thirdly, we will see the financial part of the, of the project. And we will finish with the conclusion and the recommendation. Let me briefly introduce your team. Firstly, Mr. Tao will present the cultural aspect of China and Shanghai. Um, secondly, Mr. Li will give us the, the policy and the different legal issues that we have to know. And thirdly, I am going to present the financial aspect of the project. Well, now I would like to introduce you how to generalize and adapt our solar clothes to our new market in Shanghai, China. First, let's focus on our new market, Shanghai. It is one of the biggest and the most modern cities in the world. It is also the economy, finance, trade, shipping, science and technology center of China. And Shanghai has the highest GDP in China for recent years. It shows the high quality of its economic base and the reason why it can attract about 50,000 foreign companies. What's more, the culture of Shanghai is modern and fashionable, which means the local people, companies and government are easier to adapt to new things and they are willing to try things from other countries. Then, we will talk about how to generalize and adapt our adapt uh, productions to and its application to fit the special market in Shanghai. As our product has different applications on, on the sea, on land, and in the air, we will analyze all of them separately. First, on the sea, our product can be used on several emission racing and cruising sailboats and electric driven or solar powered cleanup workboats. But as we have learned that but as we have learned that Shanghai is a deep water port city which focuses on international goods trade. So most of ships there are usually huge ones, so this may not be our main project. And in the air, it's also not probably to promote our products on drones and scientific probe balloons in China, in Shanghai, as the government has a just announced a new law to limit the areas and the time for drones and ask the owners to register and report to the relevant departments when they use them. So, both sea and air applications are not suitable for our new market. But, as the data I have learned, the applications on land in Shanghai can be a potential market to our country. First of all, our product can be used on lightweight and mobile communal structures, for example, solar awnings. Then, I think we can promote our product into the solar awnings of the parking lots, which offer charging pipes. In this way, the power which is produced by our solar clothes can be used to charge the electric cars directly. 
And as I have researched that, the government of Shanghai is strongly encouraging the citizens to purchase electric vehicles. And they carried out a lot of policies, for example, giving the license plates for free to electric vehicles, which will usually cost more than 10,000 euros, and giving cash bonus to different kinds of electric vehicles. As a result, according to the statistics, the amount of electric vehicles are increasing shockingly, and at the end of 2019, the sales volume of electric vehicles is 2.21 million. According to this trend, uh, the, the percentage of electric vehicles in Shanghai will more than 10% at the end of 2020. But the charging piles are much less than needed, obviously. So the government will keep constructing more and more charging piles where our products can be used to set up to meet the need of those drivers. What's more, I learned that in the near future, the government will change all of the taxis in Shanghai into electric ones. And they are going to build more than 260,000 electric charging stations in Shanghai. So, if we can promote our product in this way, there will be a huge market in Shanghai. On the other hand, as I researched that there are only two solar-powered electric charging stations in Shanghai now, and they are still in test. Although they started to try to use the solar-powered charging stations, they still use the solar panels on top of the stations, which are less convenient compared to our product. And Shanghai doesn't have a local company which focuses on solar clothes for now, which means less competition to us. In conclusion, Shanghai can be a potential market to our company as the government attaches great importance to the environment problems. And promoting our product into solar awnings to charge electric vehicles in Shanghai can be a good choice. As the economic and the science and technology base has a high quality which is convenient for us to open a new market. But there are still some challenges we have to work on as Chinese always emphasize on speed and efficiency. We have to solve the problems of transportation and manufacture, as there can be a large amount of need in such a big city. However, if we can solve those problems or even work with the government, Shanghai can also be a good base and benefit for us to expand to the whole China or even other countries in Asia. Thank you. Let's talk about the legal issues. As the most open city in China, Shanghai has always welcomed and supported foreign funded enterprises to set up factories and start companies. This government has provided a variety of preferential benefits, and it will also help these companies obtain the relevant documents in only four days, which is not possible in many other countries. Since 2008, the preferential tax policies for foreign funded companies are mainly reflected in tax rebates, which means that a part of the tax paid by the company will be returned to the company. For example, in the Chomi district, the return of business tax is over 40%, and the return of income tax 
is over 16%. Since 2012, Shanghai has actively supported the development of the solar industry. A number of policies have been issued. After research, all of our company's products meet the policies requirements and can apply for the most subsidies. In this COVID-19, many companies face big problems. Shanghai has launched 28 measures to support foreign enterprise to fight against the epidemic. This include increased financial and test support for key epidemic prevention enterprise, reducing corporate house grants, giving preferential test treatment to related enterprise and individuals. In addition to the policy support of the Shanghai government, the establishment of a solar energy company in Shanghai has always subsidies for Chinese unified standards. After investigation, the overall percentage of solar industry subsidies in most countries is not as much as the provided by Shanghai, and the recent exchange rate of the euro to RMB has greatly increased, which is very conducive to reducing costs overseas because we will hire local employers and use local salary standards. So let me take it here with the financial aspect. Uh, to be to simplify everything, I'm going to talk about every amount in terms of dollar, and not here. Um, so, to setting um, in Shanghai, we will have to consider three types of cost. The first one will be the setting abroad cost. Basically, it means um, every cost uh, that we will have to invest to, to open the store in Shanghai. Then we have the um, labor cost. It is all the cost for, for the sale release and the, and the employees. And the exporting and importing cost. The cost to, because all, all the products are still produced in France and they export it to China. So the first one, setting up road cost, um, it is basically um, uh, the renting cost plus the utilities. Uh, as we are opening our store in the Wangpong uh, area, which is a very affluent um, area of Shanghai, um, the, the renting cost will be approximately $12,000 every month plus 3000 of utilities. Um, then we have the labor cost. Uh, we will need one director plus two employees. It will be around six six thousand and five hundred euro for the director plus two point five thousand uh, dollar for each employee. Um, as we are importing um, our product in China, we will have to consider taxes. Firstly, we have the VDA, which is uh, in China seventy percent, and then we have other taxes as the custom duty taxes, which is counted calculated by by the quantity. Here we uh, we arrive at the final part. So, to conclude this presentation, Shanghai is an incredible futuristic city which matches perfectly with the future of our company. As the city is very concerned about its energy consumption and its way it produces energy, our product could be a great investment for the city of Shanghai and its citizens. Furthermore, the city of Shanghai has established different tax rebate for French company that solar closed system could benefit from it. Thus, it could be easier to develop a branch of the company in China. Finally, opening a store in Shanghai, we need a total investment of $300,000, which is clearly affordable for our company. After study made on the city of Shanghai, our team came with the conclusion that opening a store in Shanghai would be beneficial for the company. Thank you for your attention.